did you get into permanent makeup? Oh, that's a good one, Callie. Well, I got into permanent makeup before I got into body tattooing. Okay, so this is a time in my life where I was a cocktail waitress on the strip wearing a friggin' dress and high heels, believe it or not. <laughs> I, was, I was at TI, Treasure Island on the strip. But I was not in a good place in my life. I was probably on a bad path. Dark, dark, right? Not good. I was in depression, just all kinds of shit going on. Not good. It's off about those high heels. Yeah. Hey, girl, <laughs> snap. You hear that? You hear that, Olivia? <laughs> snap, girl. Mm. <laughs> took me about three months and then i was like all over that casino <laughs> carrying you know tray load of drinks oh, so man. yeah i was all over the place but it was good it was good but um and there was just something cool and exciting being a cocktail waitress on the vegas strip right i'm from a small town in maine so and i'm a lesbian you know and so and i looked like a little boy <laughs> so the other cocktail waitresses showed me how to put on like Let lip liner <laughs> yeah lip liner and do my back then we wore lip liner you know so so anyway, I did not have good brows, right? I lost a lot of hair. And so I ha always had my, um, my eyebrow pencil like in my back pocket. Like it was always in my, on my thing. And don't, don't mess with my eyebrows. And I had a, a, a friend, you know, a gay guy friend. He would always like to, you know, when you go drinking, <laughs> he'd, he'd like to smudge him off. I had and, a friend like that. Yeah, mess with me. And I'm time. like, yeah, it's like, oh, I'm going to kill you, <laughs> man. And you're like, smear my eyebrows off one more time. You know, it's like my face. So I was always a freak about my own eyebrows. And um, so I, ha I, ha I wanted to get out of cocktail and get back to art. I was always an artist. I was born an artist. I drew portraits, painted like you, little kid, yeah, I do portraits teenage too. years. Yeah, me yeah. too. Spent you know my whole childhood, teenage years doing that. Got away from it, got in a dark spot, moved to Vegas, cocktails, no eyebrows. <laughs> um, heels and a dress. Heels and a dress. So I thought I wanted to be a makeup artist. I didn't know permanent makeup existed. Didn't know it existed 22 years ago. So makeup artist, why not? Right. So I went to esthetician school. I'll go and be a makeup artist. And then I'll move to LA because there's lots of pretty lesbians in LA. And then I'll learn like movie set makeup and do like the you know gun wounds and like, you know, all that extreme stuff. That was my plan. But I get into esthetician school and there's like this older lady just retiring, retiring from PMU. And uh, this is a long story. I got to make it short. So anyway, when I wanted, I was like, what's that? It's permanent makeup. I mean, I can tap my eyebrows on. Okay. I go to her house with my mom. My mom comes with me. She never cleans me. She's in a bag. You know, she gets out this bottle of pigment, doesn't draw nothing on and just lays me down on her uh, lazy boy. <laughs> you know? Love that. Nice and comfortable. Yeah. She did put a trash bag under my head <laughs> and she tattoos my eyebrows. But when I sit up, I got one arch higher than the other and she kept trying to fix it. And I was getting frustrated. That was my face. So I asked her, can I? So she gives me a machine and I rounded out my own eyebrow and, you know, and try to fix my arches. I was telling Callie the other day when it healed, it all healed out because <laughs> it wasn't deep enough on my own face. But anyway, that's when I knew, you know, I looked at my mom and I'm like, mom, this is for me. Like, I need to be doing this. Like, I, I want to do permanent makeup. I think I could be really good at this. And I think, you know, oh, maybe. Go get me a lazy boy right now. Yeah, exactly. Go get me a lazy boy. <laughs> and that, that, that got me on my path. You know, I went and did an apprenticeship and it sucked. You know, I was allowed to go once or twice a week for six months. And I didn't, I, you know, I wasn't really good at cleanliness. So I, I had the basics down, but, you know, and uh, three years into my permanent makeup career, I got into a body tattoo shop and, uh, you know. And then got a good tribe of PMU artists around me. And uh, there you go. And then here we are. And here we are. Yeah. So. I love that. Yeah. That's how I got started. So. So before, before we go, we do have a lot in common. You and I. Like, I don't know if we look like we We're would have. We're badasses. A, yeah. Well, I don't consider myself a badass. Shh, it's okay. We are. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, I really don't. But. Um, but. Uh, so you like pink. I like pink. Pink's Who would have thought two color. girls like you and I would like pink? I love it. It's my mm -hmm. favorite. Right? Yeah. Okay. So I love pink too, but I like it like up against black. Black like, and pink are the best. Yeah, I like like pink and like fucking baby blue. No, my mom's bridesmaids dresses were like really kind of not the normal. They were black and pink. Like they were cool. Like they were cool. Pink it's got to be a certain kind of pink, right? Yeah. It's, oh, yeah. Yep. Like a mm, pink. Yep. Yeah. I love pink. Best color combination. Yeah. Me, black and pink. I love that too. All right. And what else? We fish. 
Yep. I, I grew up I fishing. Fish. Yep. I don't catch up. You, you catch these like big ass fishes. Monsters. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Mo- I watch that show on monsters on monsters on National Geographic. No, sometimes I need to be on that fishing. I yeah. Swear. Yeah. That's good. Do you eat your fish? Depends where I am. Um, a lot of uh, there's a lot of wild fish, and you can't keep those. Oh, so do you catch and release? Uh, yeah, catch and release. Sometimes I'll keep a uh, hatchery fish, salmon. When I salmon fish, I keep the salmon. Oh yeah, salmon's delicious. Yeah, but, um, steelhead. I'll I'll usually release it. Okay, unless I want to can some stuff. Okay, up. good. All right. And the other thing, uh, we're both uh, believers. I love Justin Bieber. <laughs> Me too. I love him so much. I know. He's so sweet. <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, and sometimes I get embarrassed that, you know, some of my friends make fun of me, but I love um, if you Justin Bieber. Say you don't love him. I just assume you're lying. Yeah. In denial because I don't know how you can't love Justin Bieber. So no, I love Justin Bieber. Whoever says they don't. I right. am a believer. And, um, you know, his new clothing line, Drew House, right? You can't get that shit anywhere. I have been trying and trying and trying. Can't get it. It's all sold out when you go to his website. And I wanted a Drew shirt so bad. So for Christmas, Kat had to go on. She got me one for Christmas. We're not going to ask how. But she had to go on eBay. It was like 300 bucks. I think they retail on a store for like 150 It's so worth it. Yeah, it's so worth it. It's still, it's a t-shirt for $150, but it's, it's yes, your t-shirt, but it's the Biebs, yep. right? He's worth it. Yeah. Yeah. So she did. She found it. So they're selling them on eBay for like 300 bucks. Yeah. Probably more now. Yeah. Probably more now. So I got my Drew I'm House shirt. I'm so for you for that. I know. 